Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. I'm trying to make sure that you can see the beautiful pillow that my producer Cheryl, well, I shouldn't mess with that too much. On the couch with me are two individuals that I go way back with. And before I tell you all they're here, I have a video I get to tease you with about what they are going to talk about. So uh, pay attention because here it comes. Two years ago, John and I drove up Stadium Way on a scouting mission on behalf of John's brother, his family, as Mark was relocating to Tacoma, an activist in the arts at the time told us, do it now, after asking We'd like her, to thank the city of Tacoma and the city of Destiny Awards Committee for this honor and this award. We are so uh, honored and that we love entertaining thousands of people in our community and we uh, thank the artists that have made us who we are. <laughs> All right, we are back, boy. I gotta say, uh, on the couch with me from Tacoma Musical Playhouse is the one, the only, John Douglas Rake. You are the Managing Artistic Director of Tacoma Musical Playhouse, and you and Jeff, who is your partner, he is also the Musical Director. He's genius, just like you are. You won a City of Destiny Award. Congratulations. Thank you. It was really an honor. And this beautiful thing didn't come with the award, but she could. She's one of those beautiful <laughs> statuettes. And she sang at the awards. Well, there so we go. Speaking of, <laughs> Lanita Hudson. Hello. Good morning. It's good to see you. You are a community gem. <laughs> And also, you are one of the actresses. Uh, you play one of the Shirelles in um, the upcoming main stage production of Carol King. Yes. So, welcome to City Line. Thank you. It's been years since I've seen you. You don't age. Oh, stop. God, you look beautiful. <laughs> so, all right, let's talk about the current production of the beautiful Carol King musical. It's already opened. How did it go? Fabulous. Mm -hmm. It was really good. The audiences were up on their feet before oh the, the uh, cast got out to even take a bow. That is impressive. Because in, in that theater, the bar is set. You and Jeffrey set that bar really high. So the audience is conditioned to expect excellence when they sit down. And for them to stand up before they even come out, that's all we need to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful show. It is. So what is beautiful about, we'll call it that. Well, it's about the, it's about the life of Carol King. Oh, and that. she wasn't really involved in writing it because there's some really sad moments in this show about her life. And she didn't really want to relive those, those um, times. But uh, it is about her story uh, when she started out at 16 yeah. and then it goes through her tapestry album. And, My um, favorite. Yeah, it's all of our favorite. I mean, the music is great. And it represents, you know, all different groups that she wrote for. And you'd be surprised at some of the songs that she wrote. And then it also covers a little bit of the life of her best friends, uh, Cynthia Weil and Barry Mann, who are also co-composer authors of music at her time. So, I love that. Yeah, she, there they are. She's she was kind of the Bruno Mars of her time mm -hmm. uh -huh. in terms of exactly. writing also, but singing, exactly. but really known for putting those great songs together. Right. So, Lanita, what are some of the songs people will recognize? Um, on Broadway, a lot of people George do not Benson. realize that. Mm -hmm. She wrote on Broadway. Um, uh, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow oh, yes. is one that Shrell sing. Um, what's another one? Well, one Fine Day. One Fine Day. Wow. Yeah, that's another. Uh, the locomotion. Yes. Yeah. She was prolific. Yeah. Oh and my gosh. And natural woman. Natural woman, which oh, a lot of people don't we realize. We love that one. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Lanita, you play one of the backup singers in the Shirelles, and boy, if if people didn't catch you singing at the City of Destiny Awards, you you have. As, as people say, you can hum. Thank you. You are amazing. <laughs> you have a voice. Um, talk with me about the person who plays Carol King that we saw sitting on the piano bench. Her name is Kate Connor. She's absolutely amazing. Her voice, um, you can close your eyes and think that you are listening to Carol really? King. Really? Yeah. She has this wonderful folksy, mm. full, rich sound that 
that just matches what you think Carol King sounds like. Yeah. And then you put them, the two of them together, and it sounds so similar. It's her it's tone amazing. is unique. It's wow. just beautiful. It's beautiful. That beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> um, so. How do you think, because you, this is not your first rodeo, you have played icons before, <laughs> um, and many would say that the Shirelles were very iconic for their time mm -hmm. um, in the sense of uh, being that girl band, being that supreme level. Yeah. How does it feel to play an icon? Um, well, it's an honor. Yes. It's most definitely an honor. I believe you. Kate would say that as well. It's an honor to play these characters. Um, and this one that you see here, I'm playing the lead Sherelle singing, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? Um, and it's just, it, it's, I'm not quite old enough no, for that not. time, but um, very much <laughs> familiar with a lot of the songs. So it's just, it's an honor to be a part of something that is part of your childhood, part of you growing up, part of your parents' childhood. Exactly. It's wonderful. So, John, what else is represented in this show before we get to some good scholarship news? <laughs> well, we have uh, the Drifters are yes. also in that. Uh, the Righteous Brothers. Mm -hmm. She wrote. They wrote uh, songs for the Righteous Brothers. Uh, and then just Cynthia Weil and Barry Mann, which a lot of people don't know that they were also very involved with the writing of music and best friends of them. Wow. I mean, Carol King wrote, You've Got a Friend yeah. for them, really, because she moved away and the, they stayed in New York and she went out to L.A. Oh. And she said, don't, don't cry because this, song, this song is for you. You've Got a Friend, mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Speaking of friends, you have some friends who really want to support this um, beautiful gift that Tacoma Musical Playhouse has given our community. Tell us what it is. Well, Jeff and I have started the John Douglas Rake Jeffrey Strateki Scholarship Foundation. And what this is, is we've donated $30,000 $30, to start the scholarship. And then we asked some of our best patrons to donate with us. And we've reached almost $120,000 for this. Oh, my goodness. Now, this money will go to students who are in high school that are going into the performing arts, uh, that, you know, into college. And it can be uh, an actor. It can be a technician. It can be a musician. It can be you know, anything to do with the performing arts. And they get a one-time scholarship to help them get into that first year of, of college. That, that is incredible. I, I am gobsmacked because that first year is so tenuous and full of so many corners you don't know about. And unexpected expenses. Expenses and, and all of that. Right. Once again, you are the world's best co-parent. Thank you both <laughs> thank you. so much for being here today. And thank you for beautiful. And um, I want to see you back here sooner than later. Okay. All right. Thank you. We have much more to come on City Line. Don't go away. We'll be right back.